Hey everyone, uh, hope you're having a good weekend, I am. I just wanted to make kind of a follow on on my video about altruism and naive versus, um, I guess, wise altruism, I think I termed it. And that's because I read an article by, I think it was David Brooks, who is a conservative commentator. And I think, you know, he, I like reading his articles, even though he's conservative. I think he often makes a lot of sense, even though we obviously probably come to some different conclusions. But this one was about empathy um, and how empathy is by itself an insufficient kind of concept and people are overhyping empathy as a solution to the world's problems and there's this kind of pop culture uh, phenomenon of people writing books about empathy and explaining how empathy is going to fix the world um, and in fact they've done research in various ways and they showed that you know whilst people can feel empathy towards someone that's fairly easily overridden um, and other effects are often a lot stronger in people's uh, immediate kind of moral or ethical reasoning than empathy um, and I want to make a point similar to the one that I made about altruism and again it's going to be tweaking the definition of empathy a little bit and it's going to be going towards kind of a Buddhist concept of what to do with empathy as well. Now empathy is according to Wikipedia the capacity to recognize and to some extent share feelings such as sadness or happiness that are being experienced by another sapient or semi-sapient being. Now I mean when we look at the world we often I think I mean to me certainly there are many of these outpourings of, of empathy and sympathy that I think aren't necessarily productive and you could even say that Perhaps, you know, sometimes because empathy, it's such an innate human thing and it makes you feel good, people apply to places um, to get that feeling. So when we look at, I mean, my, you know, my example would be the death of Princess Diana. Someone died, that's sad, but, um, you know, the, the kind of outpouring of grief and empathy and compassion there was a bit was a bit strange when you look at how many other people die or are still alive and suffering that need help right so you could point to that and say look at what empathy is doing there I mean you know these people are just really wasting a lot of good time buying flowers and you know throwing them in front of Buckingham Palace um, and I think there's certainly a lot of truth to it and empathy by itself as just an emotion, as just something you feel, to me it's, you know, it's like any other just emotion out of any context. You know, you can take love. If you just take love or, you know, some happiness, um, you know, that can lead to bad things quite easily. And you can think about, you know, obviously many contexts in which it does. But that's why any emotion especially empathy, I think there's more to it and you need to take it into a bigger context of how you reason about the world. And then you get to empathy rather than just being an emotion that you feel, this kind of temporary connection or shared feeling, you take empathy as a skill, a skill that you try to build. So if empathy is the ability to, in some small way, um, put yourself into someone else's shoes and experience their emotions or what you your best guess at least to what their emotions are um, then with that skill you can actually then really inform your ethical actions a lot more if you build on this understanding of what the other person might be feeling and you can use this empathy um, you know and this is the thing it's not decontextualized this empathy needs to be drawing on a rich on a rich kind of um, foundation of wisdom in yourself and understanding about yourself and understanding about how other people are different but if you have those components in place then it can really provide a much richer and deeper understanding of other people and their struggles and why in certain situations where superficially you might want to condemn them uh, or cast them aside or say look at this worthless person giving up not trying being lazy being whatever you can then come to realize that there are actually all of these other conditions about it and then the, the way they're feeling um, it might be you know a result of these things rather than uh, just some great evil on their part 
Um, and you know, th this is the thing. If if you had a robot with no empathy, then that robot would not have any understanding that they would need to treat other beings with any respect because they would not expect the same thing for themselves. If you have a psychopath lacking any empathy, then they will understand that they can suffer um, and therefore their ethical system will be a step above the robots in that it will at least consider things that happen bad to me to be bad. But they still struggle with the fact that in one sense their ethical system, they cannot be expected to build their ethical system to the point where they think can take equal consideration of other living and suffering beings because that's outside their area of comprehension. Empathy is the thing which allows us to build an ethical system and to actually follow ethical rules which are a lot more powerful um, than those of the robot or the psychopath in that we actually suddenly make that leap and start treating other people like we would want to be treated in that same situation which is you know golden rule kind of stuff but empathy is really the enabling skill in there um, and empathy as a skill in moral reasoning I think is vital I think there's no replacement for it and when we and I do think so I do think there's a big problem with empathy and it's not necessarily that people don't have empathy I think most people have tremendous empathy and you can see that empathy when you know it's someone that they that they like or someone you know someone innocent that they understand is innocent they want to help and they're very empathetic but then it comes to all of those situations where because it's mainly an emotion to them it's not a a skill that's linked into all of their other ethical reasoning and all of their other life experience they don't have any connection to other people that are outside their area of immediate expertise and experience and they're very quick to condemn people um, for actions that they perceive wrong because they are not able to kind of get at least a little bit of insight into that other person's head and I think you know to me that is one of the big problems and to me the thing is because I see it as a skill I think it's something that you can build on um, and you can work on you just have to you know you just have to try you just have to always uh, come at these come at a different person and a different person's action from many different points and try to understand um, and try to you know sh share kindred kind of feeling with them and this might sound airy fairy but it's not really I think it's something that you can practice in everyday life and then once you've figured out you know once you've figured out because I'm I'm a determinist so I you know I think people wind up in the situation that they wind up because of nature and nurture both of which are outside their um, immediate control um, and once you understand that then you always try to come to an understanding of the other person and you see that no other person is evil so there's always some way in which you can understand them and can understand from their perspective why they think what they're doing is great even if uh, looking at it from a kind of slightly more objective point and that's kind of a loosely objective I guess but from a you know a more high vantage point what they're doing is not and then once you've managed that once you're kind of good at that um, then obviously you need to bring in your altruism and you need to go and um, effectively help people and again you need to tie that in with wisdom so that you don't do damage instead of doing good because altruism can easily do damage um, if it's very naive altruism and empathy when it's misguided can just waste your own energies and your own resources on things that aren't necessarily things um, you know that you need to be spending a lot of time being empathetic about whereas things that are right there which are very important where people need you are things that um, you just kind of feel that feeling and then suppress it and move on uh, anyways let me know what you guys think uh, see you all later Church of SDFU enjoy your Sunday and I guess since we're ahead of all of you the rest of your Saturday as well alright see you all later